Good morning, folks. Today we've got a couple of stories, including a mainstream seismic forecasting article, adding to the flurry we've seen in recent weeks. We've also got a look at weather, but we're starting at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last 24 hours on our star here in 193 angstroms, you do see the dark coronal holes turning through center longitudes, but no thin dark ropes and no bright spots. And in 304 angstroms, we know that means no plasma filaments and no sunspots. It is a calm, blank disk. Looking next to the solar wind, we are seeing a bit of sputtering in the bottom two panels, speed and plasma temperature, density in orange dropping out, and then the phi angle in blue and the BZ up top in red, very, very calm. We could be seeing cosmic ray health alerts today if that calm continues. Taking a look at those coronal holes, they are turning through now. We have about another 24 to 48 hours until that stream arrives at Earth. Of course, until then, we are looking for slightly increased seismicity, and we did take a magnitude 6.0 in Ecuador this morning. That one was on the earthquake alert map that we posted to Twitter last night. It is just a 6.0, however, not really going to be high on the charts. And speaking of earthquake forecasting, it does look like QuakeWatch.net user Lester got the Papua New Guinea six-pointer. We are still working to figure out the significance on that one. Up next, we're going to India. The cyclone from the northeast Indian Ocean crossed over the southern parts of India, killed 12 people, and the battering is not done. It is set to curl, curve, and come right back at the west coast there. Eyes open. This is your two-day fire forecast for the United States. Today it is just an elevated watch in the far southwest, but tomorrow that jumps up to critical. Eyes on that, and be careful when you're playing outside. Up next, let's go to the articles. We have an interesting one out here talking about albedo changes on the planet. Drop in snow at high latitude, decreased albedo, while at mid-latitudes they have actually discovered an increase in albedo of the planet. Up next, the top story. You all remember Demeter, the thing we thought was going to be able to be the future of earthquake forecasting, and then the satellite was decommissioned. Well, hopefully that gets fixed one day in the future, but for now, CNRS France, in conjunction with Chinese scientists, don't want NASA and ETH Zurich taking all of the mainstream show when it comes to seismic forecasting. They're looking at things like total electron content and ion density profiles at nighttime, and they say that up to five days before a magnitude 5 or larger event, within 200 kilometers of the eventual epicenter, they can detect nighttime ionospheric density profile anomalies. Where, oh where, have we heard that before? Anyway, we would love to shake your hand out in the desert. It's going to be a great show. We have some of the community favorites, plus new faces, professors from around the country. We'll do this all again tomorrow, and we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. It's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.